My name is uh, Amélie Prou, <laughs> and uh, I just graduated from my Master's of Fine Art at Mascat. Well, I'm interested in the perception of natural phenomena, the natural phenomena shaped by language. Basically, uh, I was working on a series of kinetic sculptures using ceramics as my foundational material. The piece in the Annale Unowens is called uh, Voila, Voila, Voila. It's um, spelled in three different, different ways. This piece is um, thousands of porcelain drops that are uh, suspended in a an, an acrylic box and it's basically that whole idea of using water with these porcelain drops is a bit um, about that idea of uh, juxtaposing two times, a static time of the porcelain drops with that fluid time of uh, water particles accumulating on, on the drops, the porcelain drops. Voila, in the first uh, way it's spelled, means uh, there you are. And then the second version means look there. And then the third uh, way that it's spelled means it's a veil. So from being able to see, you, it becomes impossible to see just through that play of, um, of words and language. Uh, the piece of the port uh, is called Ébauche euh, d'un nuage de pluie, which translates as a sketch of a rain cloud. I, I wanted this piece to, to move, so to have a kinetic element uh, in the work to convey that idea that uh, language and natural phenomena are fluid and they're not static. These drops are suspended to the lexan board. The solenoids pull the threads and it makes the porcelain move and click with the other pieces around and it produces that kind of little sparkling sound that suggests uh, the sound of a rain cloud. That, that whole idea was to um, write a code for the microcontrollers so it would be like a cloud burst, so it would start raining slowly and it would go faster as uh, if it was a real cloud burst. I really enjoyed my experience at NESCAD and I'm really happy that I had such an amazing studio space with great facilities and a 24-hour access to my studio where I could work on my ambitious projects at any time during the day or the night. The, the program is so small here that it's possible for students and profs to connect not only at an academic level but also at a, at a human level and that was important for me.